What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro Hostess Reacts. I'm Tamash. This is Taya. And this is Zane. And today we are on Halloween, the original movie. I think this is what, 1978? Um, is 19... it going to be a like, old film movie? This is the very first Michael Myers is it film. Like, I believe. I did it there to look like current. I have no idea. Oh, God. Okay. I have no idea. I mean, it's a popular uh, franchise, so they may have refurbished and you know you know touched it up a little bit maybe i mean I'm, I'm assuming they did because obviously when it originally came out um it would have been you know on vhs and all that crap now it's on streaming so they probably upped it a bit Which you know vanilla comma pecan to make it um higher definition yeah. and higher quality as much as they could much like they did with star trek um but yeah, this movie is sponsored by Just Jordan, so thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. We're excited to get into this. We love horror. It's Halloween. Stop. This is our season. Let's do it. I mean, this the lights are on. This fall is my favorite but... season, you guys. And yeah, you don't let us turn the lights off or nothing. So they can't see us. Stop. So it sucks. It's unfortunate, but I was trying to talk mom into getting well, giving me the specifications for these lights, so I can um. I want to make them LED lights so I can use Stop. the controller and just change the color of the lighting. Because even if I could dim it a she bit. She won't do that because when I had LED lights, she was traumatized of what She happened. wouldn't do that for you. No, because she was traumatized when we went to go take them off what happened. Well, I don't have anything to do with that. But we got more snacks than we probably should. Popcorn, ice cream, cinnamon rolls. I have a brownie. All of that. You so. have a brownie for me? Nope. Not for you. Anyway, let's get into this, you guys. Full and early reactions are available on Patreon. I really wish the lights were off. This sucks. It is nighttime after midnight. If that makes a difference. After midnight. It makes it a little bit more spooky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling off, but don't they got somebody in the back? Oh, uh-uh, pull off! Oh my God! Why is your window down? She rolled it down! Is she dumb? Yeah. It must be a wind one. It is. Oh wow, she's strong. Stole the car. Now what is the other dude still doing? You slow. Why you didn't scream off the horn? And he dumb. Shut up. The evil is standing right in front of me, you big bald bastard. Now we out here with crazies in the rain on Halloween. She all muddled up. I wouldn't listen to that man. Cause you don't tell me what to do. If I know I'm something wrong. My car. You're not supposed to go up there. Yes, I am. Adjust your glasses 30 degrees. Right.
like he's your patient, doctor. If precautions weren't strong enough, you should have told somebody. I told everybody. Nobody listened. He can't drive a car. He was doing very well last night. Maybe someone around here gave him lessons. Ooh. Look at this kind of shit show. Like, he's smart. He's smart. Okay, that's time. Cash me. Oh, my vacation time. Y'all have fun tonight. And but what's the game? Unless you tell good jokes. Oh my god, Corey. Answer the question. Personified fate. In Samuel's writing, fate is immovable like a mountain. Oh, not a pumpkin. We're gonna split the pumpkins with. Oh, my pumpkin meat on the <laughs> run away. You see crazy, you run away. They're playing that piano. Stop. You're very expensive. What time tonight? I don't know yet. I have to get out of taking my leave. See ya. Bye. Bye. I told you he was going to spin the block. I'm about to go He spun the block. He ain't playing with y'all. Hey, look. Look where? In the bush. At least you're smart. So let me wait and see what happens. Preach. Lori, dear. Lori. Just scared another one away. Bye. Bye. Watch in front of you, girl. <laughs> Excuse me, Lori. Oh, Mr. Brackett, I'm sorry, Mr. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? Nice seeing you, sir. Nice seeing you, sir. Um, they start early. Go, just go, let's go. Their parents say, we ain't gonna be out here that late with this uh, foolishness. Starting early. It's just so unsafe. You don't know who in your house. Oh. Oh, no. I'm calling that place. She gotta go. Well, she might have a landline. Lock all your doors and windows. Matter of fact, tell somebody to come pick you up. Look, she has a raggedy in. Hello? <laughs> she does. Oh my god. Don't. Yeah. Don't. He got himself a hacksaw. Oh, story and took then he went back to the house and he kissed his wife and his two children goodbye. Oh, not kissed them goodbye. And then he proceeded. Where are we? Wait. Oh, uh, it's uh, right over here. Why do they do it? Goddamn kids. I don't think no kid did that. Judith Myers. He came home. Hi, Dad. What happened? Uh, somebody broke into the hardware store. Probably kids. Now, all they took was some Halloween masks, a uh, rope, and a couple of knives. Who do you think? What? No kids. I'd like to have a word with you if I could. Well, maybe a few minutes. I've got to take just that. important. Ten minutes. Nighttime, let the shenanigans begin. Still warm. No, no, don't. He got hungry. You ate a fucking dog? Could have been a skunk. Could have. Standing on the lawn, he could have seen inside. <laughs> Met this six year old child with this blank, emotionless face, the blackest eyes. The devil's eyes. Spent eight years trying to reach him, and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. What do we do? I think he'll come back. I'm gonna wait for him. I still think I should know. Hi, Lester. I'm about to be ripped apart by the family dog. I can't wait. Are they only across the street from each other? Here. Yeah. Well, won't you take a walk? Yeah. Lindsay, I need a robe. Lindsay, mind her business, watching her movie. Please don't take a Lindsay, Lester's nerves again. Lindsay don't care nothing about what you're talking about. Oh. Never mind. Hot date. I saw the boogeyman. I saw him outside. All right. The boogeyman can only come out on Halloween night, right? Right. While I'm here tonight, I'm not about to let anything happen to you. 
Promise. Of course. Promise. We make the jack o' lantern now. Where's my Chick Fil A brownie? Promise. 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 Cheap trips. Just kill her. That's not, That's not a habit. They don't be having a lot of stuff happen, so they don't scared. Lindsay! Lindsay, Lindsay ain't listening to you all night. Yeah. She listened about as good as you. She's washing her clothes. Look, just tell her it's me, okay? Okay. Y'all messing with her picture. Hey! Tell anybody about this. She got stuck in the window. She'll be back. Ah, first chance she got. Wow. Besides, I'm on my way to pick up Paul. Wait a minute. Leave if her you watch her, I'll consider talking to Ben Tramer in the morning. It was unlocked. Be in the back seat. You should just realize it. I knew he was there and it's still the music. There you go. Stay on it. Stay on it. You're gonna die anyway, but listen out there, come over. Strain on the hell out of it. Cut her. Boy, he went high. Look, she said, I didn't seen enough. <laughs> she said, but I can't do nothing about it. She just like me. I seen some stuff, but I ain't gonna do me. Waiting for some secret, silent alarm to trigger him off. Death has come to your little town, Sheriff. You can either ignore it, or you can help me to stop it. We go upstairs to the first bedroom on the left. You got it? Okay, first I rip your clothes off. <laughs> don't rip my blouse. It's expensive, idiot. Then you rip my clothes off. But just walking in somebody's house and getting comfortable is crazy. <laughs> and then making out on that couch is crazier. <laughs> All up under somebody else's covers. That's crazy. Oh, fantastic. Girl, it was 10 seconds. Them to the fucking door. Wow. Oh my god. Oh. I'm dead. Bob dead, girl. What you finna do? Well, can't you answer me? This is going nowhere. She don't hear a scream. Oh my gosh, she don't think it's sex noises. All right, Annie. Girl, that's how you die? Making all that noise? Like Are you fooling around again? I'll kill you if this is a joke. Well, don't oh, worry. Michael got that covered. <laughs> but the answer, I'm out. All right, you meatheads. Joke's over. Mm -mm, joke's on you because you done walked into the situation. Because Michael just be watching. That's why he gets so many kills. He takes it. Oh! Judith Meyer. 
Oh, that's nasty work. Girl, you're making all that fucking noise. Oh, shit. Girl, run! So you look for your escape. And you just screaming. Oh, shit. Yep, I see him. Because you are making all that fucking noise. Ooh. A hip. She can't fit through that. And then she can get cut. Oh, my God. There you go. Never too late. At least she got right up. I don't go to the, the first name. Oh, children. Listen, home. Let me look at what this foolishness is. Wow, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> yep. That ain't got nothing to do with me. They just like me. <laughs> I'll be taking his time. He said, I'm tired. Oh my God. Let's be me. Literally, be you. That's why we be cussing you out. I'm scared. <laughs> she turned the lights out. He know you in there. The phone line cut. Oh my God! You got the window open still. Close it before he pull your head through the window. Get under there. You don't care nothing about please stop. Oh my God! Like, what are you doing? Cause like, why do you have the windows and doors? So I know it'd be hot, but like, not you passing out next to the killer. Babies. Hugs later. Let's go. I'm scared. There's nothing you're scared of. Are you sure? He coming up them stairs. What you mean? Killed him. You can't kill the boogeyman. And don't nobody see that. Get you just told him where they're going. That's the one way trip out closet. Right. You don't care about no locked doors. And then you making all that noise. I mean, he walks slow, but like. And you don't really care about kids. Put the clothes in front of you. That don't work, girl. I don't know what you thought was going to happen. Yeah. Turn it into yeah, something you can stab him with, girl. Come on, think on your feet. When you have to think stuff. Track like this. The eye. Or the neck. You stab him in the leg. Come on, mess him up. Yes. Get shanked, fool. Girl, get up. <laughs> he be hurt. It's always on his back. Not no uh uh issues. Right, he just be passing. He's like, I can't take this. I have to take a nap. He takes a little energy nap. Yeah, like a and power nap. He's crazy. And nobody ever want to attack. And then she keep him. dropping the knife. Next she to dumb? him, she'll even throw it across the room. No, just next to him. Might as well put it in his hand. Come here. Listen to me. Run downstairs. Why are we having a pep talk? Out the front door. And then you send the kids to do your job. Just go lay down next to him. Go lay down oh next to him. Oh my God! Look how he got set up straight. Get over here, Dr. Bastard. She's slow. Don't know how to react. She be beating him up. She got him in the eye. Excellent. He came packing heat. One of the best common sense decisions I've seen all day. Yes, yeah, Oh my God, what was he the whole movie? Standing outside the my house. Well, come on, somebody with some sense. You fire. You, you don't stop firing until he on the grind. So I'm gonna give What's you a little break. He meant? As a matter of fact, it was. That power nap is vicious. The power nap. That was way too quick. They're crying. You better get ready to run. The kids just out there running down the street. They ain't never return. He went home. He so said, I need to go lay in my bed so I can recover. And that's it. Oh. So, thought system on the first Halloween. I don't really like it that much. Yeah, it's dated. Very much so. And it's just like. 
took way too long for it to even start happening. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I didn't really like that match. Yeah, you can't even say meaningful character development. because. Like, but I'm not going to knock it because I expected it. Um, people obviously in that time liked it because it look how successful the franchise is. But it's cool to go back and then look forward because like we I remember the one of the newer remakes. Um I was like we seen like two years ago, two years ago, right? But yeah, they had like some come out each year. It was like three uh three three years in a row. But I I watched the first one fully. The second one I fell asleep on and I didn't see Halloween ends. But I know she well obviously we know she survives. But she was very well prepared in the um the return of the first of the new trilogy in the first movie. She was very well prepared and very much uh kicking ass. So she definitely learns from all of this. But um yeah, this one was dated for sure. She the decision making didn't make sense, honestly. But I also I always try to look at it for the times. I imagine she don't really watch scary movies, so she don't know how to react. Us, we consume horror movies, so we always have like in our minds scenario played out correct and how we react. correct and what we would do so it's easy to judge them but she was genuinely scared and and i also have to remember human beings really are slow um yeah. so. <laughs> so I, but just me in general and i i realized this with my one of my friends too is that we just have a escape route planned out for like each classroom in school and it's just like we know where to go when something happens when this happens when that happens <laughs> We just have it mapped out, and I don't know. Get up there. Maybe it's because of all the TV I consume, and I'm just like. It's, the, it's exactly what it is. Um, they didn't. I'm ready she wasn't really watching TV like the kids was. Because, um, ready. You know, somebody tell me it's a school shooter, I'm not hiding. they were going to get me. they were going to get me. So, listen. I got to do that right now. So, you're going to be making um, Lori decisions. Okay. No, anyway, I'm just not uh, really the, human beings. They hide behind the door. I mean, she did try to play it off, like open the window, like she went out the window. But I would have actually went out the window, yeah, I and I would have took the kids to go, and I would have grabbed them, jumped, landed on my back. Oh, because I would, I wanted the kids to at least get away, so they didn't take no fall damage. I'd have jumped, landed on my back, but I think adrenaline would have got me through. I'd have rolled over, let them go run i'm getting up and i'm hobbling i don't know how injured i am and yeah the first thing i would get ain't no laying down on that couch ain't no stopping the speeches neither i'm calling the kids to come downstairs and we're running but if if i would have laid down on the couch okay so that did happen i go upstairs cool now i'm telling them come out the closet i'm about to throw this mattress on the ground and we're gonna jump okay Cause I'm not big like that. You can't. I don't think I don't, you would have had time to get the mattress out the window. Cause no, they're not sit down and pet talk. I would have had that time. Cause I'm not sit down and pet talk. I'm telling them. <laughs> you'd been trying to get it out the window and it got stuck, and then you turned around, you'd have been there, and you just screamed. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yes, you okay. Was. Okay. I know you. Clancy. Clancy. You even fell on the ground. Clancy, because that mattress was heavy the other day, and I couldn't even hold it for one second. Okay. <laughs> So, Plan C, I rip the curtains down, I wrap it around the rail, and one at a time. Let's go. We turn it. She go first, then little Johnny, Tommy. He go down. Now I'm coming down. Y'all rap. Y'all rap. You you That's got, the better plan. You ain't got time for all that. Listen, I would have had time for that. Because there's no sit down pet talk. I, I'm straight off the couch. If I would have been there. thinking, let's go, let's go. Let's my go. first reaction just jump. I'm gonna take the damage and I'm gonna hobble. That's what, he walk. I can hobble. That's still faster than I that. I can't. So I, I mean, if I was thinking, maybe I would have grabbed two comforters and threw them down. I know that's not gonna help, but it's gonna help a little bit. Maybe just that enough. is gonna help. It might. So I jump on that. Like I throw it in front of me and just land on it and try to. Um, but yeah. Like, yeah. You just gotta keep going. Adrenaline is gonna get you through the pain. And the you're kids, gonna heal later. It was hard because uh, it would be hard because you got the you know you got those two little kids. That's the other thing. She led them. He she led him to their home, but I probably would have too. But I don't know. But then she dropped the key. If I had dropped the key, I'd have kept running. I wouldn't have been knocking on the door trying to wait for the kids. I wouldn't have did that. I'd start running down the street. Um, I, somebody gonna come out. I know I'm running faster than him, so that's yeah, all that matters. Yeah, she led them. She let him. I'd have ran all the way to the police station if I had to, because I know they doors unlocked. But right, I, I'm not but, leading them to the kids. That was just so stupid. Yeah. I know she was injured. 
I'd have been banging on everybody's door. I would have banged on this door, ran to the next one, banged on that one. And the like, car's everybody gonna come out. I'm just gonna get in one. I just want him to go after somebody else, really. And then I'm gonna go get some help. But if he keep chasing me, it's not gonna work. That man, that neighbor, <laughs> he looked at that window. Sick. He said, I ain't about to deal with that foolishness. He turned his light off. <laughs> this is totally He's awesome. like me. Because if I see that, I'm like, mm -mm, I'll I call no the parts. police. I would have called the police for him, but I, I don't want no parts. Now, you know, don't come banging on my door because I ain't going to let you in. Mm -hmm. don't bring, don't come over here with that door, foolishness. I will call the police for you. Yeah, don't and come over here. I will let you in my backyard. Yeah. But you can't get in the house. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I, I enjoy might, I might even let you in the garage. I ain't going to do all that. But you can't come in the house. But I did enjoy the movie. It's just, it was slower. It was, um, it wasn't as much killing, wasn't it? But I'm, you know, we're trained to watch A, we're trained in the scenarios in our minds. B, we're used to fast paced stuff because of our times. But I look at, you gotta examine it for its time. And yeah, it was, it was okay. But I, I would enjoy seeing it evolve, you know, you know what I mean? It'd be a bit more interesting as it goes along. Um, yeah, but it's like 6 a.m. So, whatever. 2.22 a.m. to be fair. I don't see the difference. But anyway, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you, Jordan, for sponsoring this movie. I did enjoy it myself. Um, but of course, everybody, we want to hear what you guys thought. So, be sure to... Like, comment, share, subscribe, and catch you on the next. And we'll see you guys for more movie reactions. Bye.